Hello and welcome to today's tutorial, my name is Joseph and today I'm going to be covering resizing game windows in GameMaker. The fun topic. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm going to create a room. In this room, you normally have your default width and height. In GameMaker, to enable a view, you normally come through here and you tick all your checker boxes and you have up to seven views to play with. Now. In Game Maker, your view in room is the size of what you're viewing, and your port on screen is how large your window is when you're running the game. So that means if I run, because they're both the same, my room's width is going to be that, and by my height being that, which is the same as my resol or by the same as my view in room. So I'm going to show you how that you you can actually modify it to make it larger. So this is a really quick, easy tutorial. I'm going to create an object, object, view, nice and easy, nothing complicated. Um, and then I'm basically going to go to create. In create, I'm going to go view visible equals true. This should turn on my view. And then view current should enable that room's views. Now, I have I have a lot of hit and miss luck with views, just as a warning. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go view W port, which is what's gonna affect the size of the view in like the actual physical size on the window. And I'm actually gonna tie this into display get width, because that's going to pull the data from the size of my screen and then relate it to viewport. So they should match up in size. The next thing I'm going to do is copy that, paste that down there, change width to height, and over here change W to H. So now I'm pulling the data for my width and my height of my screen. The next tricky step, well not so tricky but it's easy as so I'm going to go window set. As you can see, you can actually set a whole bunch of different functions here, but I want resize. And I'm going to literally just take that value there for window viewport. Oh, sorry, window width port and window height port and apply it there. Now, that's step one of this battle. The next step is relating to how we're interacting with the surface. And I'm just gonna show you guys how this works. So I'm basically gonna pull the same information again. View width, oh, zero, because that's the view we're using, by the way, the views are all kept in an array. That's why you see it there. Is not equal to, and we are gonna look at surface now I'm pretty sure it's surface application. No, surface get width, sorry. I lied. Surface get width, and then it's surface application. Oh, sorry. Application surface. Oh. If I can spell. Ah, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Application surface. So that's going to look at the currently drawn surface. Next step. Double line is equal to or. So it's the same thing. So I can go or or double line, which is or as well. And then I'm basically gonna take the same bit of script and I'm gonna verse it against its counterpart, which is height, which is the same thing that you'd normally do with you because you're dealing with two values. Height. If I spell height right, easy enough. And then I'm gonna do a close bracket, flap, there. So now that's comparing the surface drawn width and a surface drawn height back to viewport and then that's being compared against my display my physical display which is full HD so now if I go surface so this is the other side to this so you resize the physical window and now I'm resizing the in-game surface which if I'm not being blind here Create surface, do, 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 do. surface, reset, target, resize. And the target of the surface whoop, is the application surface because that's the default window game maker's using. Now what that's applying to 
is going to be, you guessed it, view port W and view port H, which should relate back and basically resize my screen dynamically. And obviously, if I wanted to, I could relate these values. I could replace, well, I wouldn't actually because that does affect the window in some way. But I would, I could replace the display get width and display get height with a value, a global, of an array if I wanted to. Like what you would in your normal professional game. So it's pretty straightforward. So now, if I go OK and OK, come into my room, place a view up in the corner, and run it. Fingers crossed it doesn't crash. And it does. Why is that? Um, mm. That is interesting. This did not happen when I created my little dummy variable or oh, dummy program. Object view. Hmm. I wonder. Like I said, I don't have a lot of luck with views. I'm just enabling them to see what it does. It might work. It might not. Give me a moment. Why are you not working? I've obviously missed a step here. Well, if I get rid of them, let's see what it does. Like I said, I don't have a lot of luck with views in this game on Game Maker. I really don't like it. Oh, there it goes. So as you can see, now I've got a full-sized room. I don't know why those two values aren't working. Let me just retrieve them from my backup. Let's just see what the difference is. If I run that again now, let's see if it crashes. Apparently it's not doing it. It's making me a liar. Again, I don't have a lot of luck with views. Let me just disable them and see what it does. Yep, it's making me a liar. Anyway, so... There you go, that's my full size, full size screen. Now, the other thing that you're most likely going to want to do, and let's see if I can remember this, because this wasn't in my original little bit of script I wrote, but you can set the actual windows, get X, get Y, mouse. There we go, position. So, a little bit of quick, easy mass. I'm going to take my width. Now, actually, I'm just going to plug in the value 00, because I can't remember if it's pulling it from the center of your window or from the corner. Now, I think it's from the corner, so we'll just quickly check that now. So we'll see what it does. Yep, from the corner. And as you can see, it's now full screen. The next big question is, how do I know it's doing what it should be doing? And I'm just going to literally create a very quick... Sprite zero. It's not. It is all. It's going to be is a 32 by 32 pixel object, so I can see that it's resizing correctly, and it's going to be black. Nice and easy. Create a dummy object for it. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And this is just to make sure it's resizing as it should. And I'm just going to put a couple of them around. Rerun it. Wait for it to load. It should resize itself, and as you can see, there you go, it's the correct sizing. Now, the last little thing is you can set Game Maker to full screen mode as well when doing that, and it's just depending what you want to achieve with your game. This is just a really quick, easy tutorial, just to relating around how to resize your view without affecting your in-game view. And the, you have to make sure to make that distinction between a view poor being the physical window size and the internal view, which is your resolution in game. Okay, so that's all from me. If you like this video, like, subscribe, the usual. If you want to see some, a tutorial made or have a suggestion, I'm more than happy to respond in the comments. I am trying to get better at responding to comments. And again, have a fantastic day and I'll see you later.